What can you do to find vulnerabilities in code, whether yours or someone else's? Well, you can read the fun code. Yes, the heuristics and guidance that we provide in this class are mostly focused around the things like following the acid flow through the code. And if you look for these common root causes like unsafe functions or attacker controlled memory copies occurring in loops, you will almost certainly find vulnerabilities. Really all comes down to whether the people have been programming paranoid and adding appropriate sanity checks or not. Now, it's often the case that defenders will have a first mover advantage in the sense that if you're not currently under attack, if you go in there today and start adding sanity checks and start, you know, evaluating where the attacker controlled input comes into your code, you can go ahead and close down a lot of avenues before the attacker actually gets there. But if the attacker is already there, as they often are, they can also have the advantage of sometimes the defender may not think something is acid, but it actually is. Or the attacker can have the advantage of time of being able to focus on one particular component for a really long time, as opposed to the defender having to you know, allocate their time amongst the various inputs. So if an attacker really, really wants to get in from a particular thing, they're going to spend a lot of time on it. Think, you know, if they want to find a vulnerability in some messaging application that they know a victim uses, or a web browser, or, you know, some custom control software that you know, controls your PLCs on your nuclear enrichment program, something like that, right? So uh, it's often the case that over time, the defender's advantage goes away as the attacker learns everything more thoroughly. So if you're a defender, you know, it really behooves you to start right away and follow that acid flow today.